Hello and welcome everybody to a new episode of How to DIY and today you're gonna be learning how to replace your wheel bearing, brake disc and brake pads of an Audi A4 B5. First we freeze in the bearing to shrink them inside, making it easier to push them into place and together with some VD40 to prevent any scratches. Just be very gentle. It's just a question of hammering it in with a rubber hammer and using a spacer slash pipe is almost the same size. Make sure you push it in to its maximum and measure how deep the bearing sits and make sure it's even. Then you change the big disc around and we're gonna place the small bearing doing the same way as we did with the big bearing. Just make sure you do this in a clean environment, make sure all your materials are clean and you're using clean tools, not a dirty hammer like we are using at the moment. There are lots of ways to place a bearing inside You break this, we are using the hammer because it was the second alternative. The first alternative that we used was like screwing in with a big screw head, but it didn't work out to get it even. Push it in. Always turn it on an angle and it gets stuck. So that's why we turn to the hammer. Old school. And it worked without making any good scratches. Again, make sure it's as far as deep as possible and then measure again if it's correct. If it's correct, then go back to the next step. And that's greasing in your bearing. Don't be cheap, use a lot of grease. Place it in the bearing, on top of the bearing, under the bearing, just everywhere. And try to push it in the bearing like we are showing over here. Where we are just moving it around with the finger and trying to move the small bearing layers inside. Just make sure it's really covered every little piece. And when you place it inside of the brake disc, you add a little bit of more on top. But they also make already sure that it was a little bit in the inside. And then you can close it off with a plastic rubber seal. And again, here's good and hard. And make sure it's really pushed in to its maximum. That's step one for now. Let's move on to step two and removing the old brake disc because we need the RBS from that. At the same time you remove the old bearings and clean the wheel hub. But to get there you have to remove the old brake pads as we show over here. Using number 13 and 15. Of course we are using a tie wrap to hold the brake on top. Out of the way so we can keep on working removing the brake disc and pad. These brake pads are not completely worn out. It can be still used, but place a new brake disc, you always do this with new brake pads and bearing. Right, you use an inbus size number 8 to move the brake. Not the brake pad holder. Right holder. Sometimes they are rusted and they are very hard to remove. And then a longer pipe that helps you make it a little bit easier to remove them. Then it's moving the split pin. Of 
because you can throw that away and use a new one. All these rings and parts that we are coming out now, we're going to be reusing them later on, so don't throw them away. Now we are using spanner number 24 to remove the big nut. And behind the big nut there is a spacer that I forgot to put back in place at the first time when we are assembling everything. Don't forget it, you can see it is behind the bearing and that's why I forgot it. And there's the RBS sensor, you need to make sure it's clean again because later on you can never get there. And there's the RBS ring that we need to replace and put on the new brake disc. We place some wooden pieces underneath the brake disc and then we're using a metal rod to push the brake RBS off. Quite simple, quite easy. And it was just a simple question of pushing it on and then using a hammer and of course using a measurement tool to make sure it's pushed to the maximum. You don't want to get it loose when you are driving and <laughs> you don't want to lose it. It needs to stay in place for miles and miles and miles so make sure it's pushed in real good. Now we are completely ready with step one and now you can place some new grease on your wheel hub so we can place the new bearings and brake discs on this place. Just make sure it sits good and then of course some extra grease and then put the bearing in it. Just make sure it sits in really good before you're gonna push it on the ring, slash pressure, and then the nut. You can already see I put a brake disc and brake pad on it because there was a step later I had to go and step back. Well, you know, two steps forward, one step back, but the ring, the space is very important and that evens out the pressure that is the being put on by the nut. Make sure it's not too tight and not too loose. There's an exact newtometer force for it, but I just do it on hand by the feeling that I'm doing it so many times before. Shouldn't be any play in it, but it shouldn't be too tight. And then there's a little ring that goes over it, and then the split pin. Here's, of course, a brand new split pin. and just push it up all the way forward and inwards a little bit so it fits inside the cap. But before you're gonna place the cap, you're gonna add some more grease of course. put the brake in because the brake cylinder is pushed out and you have to place it and push it back into place. And we got a simple trick for that over here that lots of people don't use. There's some extra 
require information to help you. Put it extra value to the video. You clamp it, and then you turn the cylinder around. And that will, in, on the inside, just screw fat and just screw it in. And you have some help. Clamp at the same time. You're threading it in. Yeah, it makes it life a little bit more easy. You can do it all by yourself, but sometimes a little bit of help makes life a little bit mm -hmm. easier. Cool. Now the brake cylinder is pushed in far enough, and we can pull it over the brake pad. Of course, you can do a hammer to get it into place. And then two screws with Loctite, blue Loctite. And that is size 13. Sorry for the lighting, we have some problems with the sun shining right inside the camera, so it just makes it a little bit darker than it should be. I'm sorry, better luck next time. Now we're tightening up the screws and the nuts in uh, size 15 and 13. Two, one below and one on top. And then you are actually uh, finished. And this was how to DIY changing out your brake pads, brake disc and bearings of your Audi A4 B5. This was how to DIY. Hope to see you next time.